what's up guys welcome to the vlog it is sunday and you wouldn't know it but we have two dogs in the car right now we've got mr e dubs Preston, and then in the backpack we've got the little nephew norman that's my sister's golden retriever puppy he's about like four months now i think right chad about that about four months or so he's growing like a weed oh my goodness so today Jay, you want to show the people how nasty it is out right now? It is not a nice day out. It's gloomy, not too cold, but we thought what a great day to take the dogs for a little drive to one of our favorite coffee shops, Utica Coffee Roasters. It's really not a far drive for us, so we're going to do a little adventure to the coffee shop. Your pants are ripped. Remember, weren't we in Florida when someone was like, I hope you got a discount for those jeans because <laughs> half of them are ripped off. <laughs> it's not even noon. And she's all done up. Not only am I done up, but I'm like, I'm actually wearing clothes today. Normally I would be like, it's Sunday, I'm either not going to wear makeup, I'm not going to like put an effort into my style, I would just wear like gym clothes. But no, today I did the whole meal deal. I'm actually wearing jeans. I don't know the last time I've thrown on a pair of jeans. Actually last Sunday I wore jeans. I lie, but that was just for a photo shoot. But anyways, I feel very accomplished right now. And I'm very excited to get a big old coffee inside me. So Jason made us this adorable little shrimp to go. These are air fried shrimps. And we got a nice little thing of cocktail sauce. And then we always do mango with it because mango, look at our little holiday Tupperwares. We got some fresh mango in there we're gonna eat. So we're just having a little snack. Pops are both in there after our coffees before we head back. All right, we have got a package here from Ever Forward. They were kind enough to send me their women's items that are gonna be launching this upcoming Saturday. They have their first launch. It's been a long time, like I wanna say over a year since they've launched any items. So I'm gonna try on the ladies pieces for you guys and give you my feedback on those pieces. We are first showing off the activewear set. This is three separate pieces here, but they're releasing a jacket, sports bra, and leggings in three different colors. I got this super pretty purple color. It's also launching in like a green and a black, but I don't have anything in this color, so I wanted to try it, and I love the color. First impression, super gorgeous. Um, I got a, let's go piece by piece. For the leggings, I got a size small because I know I normally wear an extra small and buff bunny, but I just wasn't sure because it had been a bit since I wore Ever Forward. I went with a size small to be safe. Um, I probably could have done an extra small. With how these fit, they are so super stretchy. They are made of 30% spandex. 30% spandex. I have to look, sorry, Jay. <laughs> This is how you look, 70% nylon, 30% spandex. So in terms of fit and feel, it's that super sleek, smooth, sweat wicking type feel, very, very stretchy. So they feel fine in a size small, but I probably could have gone to an extra small. I did work out in these today and I felt myself pulling them up just a little bit because of the stretchiness, but I really love the fit on these regardless. They're super comfortable. I feel like when I'm having days where I just, I don't know, I don't want something super duper tight. I feel like these are just like a nice fit for the gym. They are a no front seam situation. I am wearing them with the Alpha Elite seamless underwear, which sometimes I feel like can enhance my camel toe. So you do you. I wore, like these are the type of pants though that I feel like you can still somewhat see the line of your underwear through them because of that stretchiness to them. I usually don't wear underwear though. But these are a, yeah, I feel like I, I see camel toe. I think it's more because of these Alpha Lee underwear though. Because I didn't have that earlier at the gym today. Moving on, the inseam on these, I did measure them. They are a 26 inch inseam, which is a nice length. For my shorter legs, I do have a little extra length at the bottom, which I honestly don't mind. I'm short and I am used to it. 
In terms of detailing on the leggings, I really like this edition, the little ever forward. It just kind of gives it that like sporty, edgy feel that I like. And you've just got like some all over seaming on here to show you guys the back side. I feel like they're not totally cellulite proof. You can see a little cellulite, but they're not see through at all. So yeah, really like these. And then the accompanying sports bra, I probably also could have went with an extra small on this as well. You can see there's a little bit of extra material on the side, but it's got the branding here. It feels nice and comfortable, no itching, no pinching. I like the length on this. I think if I did the extra small, I maybe would have had a little bit of cleavage in the mesh here, but either way, it's still a really cute sports bra. Just some mesh detailing on the back. And I also feel like this would probably be more of like a medium to high support sports bra as well. Now the jacket I think is really cute. I got this in an extra small. It does have the thumb holes on it with like a mesh panel coming through that keeps it very sweat wicking. Wearing this in the gym today felt very like cool and comfortable. And I like the jacket where it sits on my waist. It's not a long jacket, but it's not short either. It kind of hits me right at my hips. And at first I thought there was no pockets on this jacket. I'm like, oh, that's kind of odd, but they're just a, almost a little bit hidden, if you will. They're off to the side here. So you do have a pocket in them as well. So just a really great sporty set. I really, really like the look of this and the feel of it. Next up, we've got this kind of longer tank. It's just like a cotton spandex combo tank with the ever forward there. I got it in the navy blue color. Um, I like the length of this tank. If you're someone that does not want a crop fit for the gym, it's kind of like a nice fit where it's loose, but it's not so loose that it's unflattering and making you look bigger than what you are. So this is kind of just like a nice staple if you're looking for a longer tank. Just very basic, comfortable cotton fit. I think it looks cute. Not too much to say about that, but if you are someone that likes that kind of a fit and a feel, you'd like this tank. What I like about Ever Forward is they also come out with a lot of lifestyle stuff. Actually, their clothing is meant to be like a premium type fit so that you can wear it for workouts or lifestyle. This item, the mock neck, kind of like a three quarter sleeve. This is just, I love this piece. It's so simple, but classic. You can really pair it a lot of different ways. So this is the cream color. It's a super comfortable, nice, soft um, fabric. I'll have to look at what the fabric is actually. So the fabric is a nylon spandex blend. So it's a stretchy, but has that kind of silky soft feeling to it. If you've worn Buff Bunny, it kind of reminds me of like the Newbery fabric, the Rosa leggings, all that kind of stuff. But how cute is this? I'm living for this color number one. I wanted to show you guys how it could pair with activewear. I feel like this is a top you could wear to the gym, the material you are able to work out in this, but it's also a top you can wear for lifestyle, which is why I really like it. I just think it's a classic, cute piece. This is something that's not gonna go out of style. Also grabbed it in the color black. I wanted to show you guys how cute it looks for a lifestyle piece. I just paired it with a pair of jeans and you'd have no idea this came from an active wear brand. It's just a cute little classic top. A little bit of a crop there. It's gonna show a little bit of your stomach. Um, you could probably wear some higher waisted pants if you don't wanna show too much of your stomach, but it does do a little bit of a high to low, not a huge difference, but you can see it scoops through the side and comes down just a little bit longer on the back side. Obsessed. Uh, there's one more color launching. I think there's a navy one, so I'm definitely gonna be grabbing that too because I can see myself wearing these all the time. They're also releasing these lounge sets. This is the last piece, you guys. This set feels incredible. Like, I don't know if you can understand this material on camera. It's like polyester spandex, but it honestly has like a little bit of like a velvet feel to it, but doesn't like appear super velvety, if that makes sense. It's just so cozy and warm feeling. So I got both these pieces in a size small in the color black. It's also launching in a gray and a pink, but I really love the detailing on this top. Where'd it go? Oh, it's just on the one side. Okay, so you've got like the one cute little zipper here. It's actually a Ponca. How cute is that? You could put your, your card in there. It's the little half zip with a collar here. 
I love the little drawstring action here too, so you can kind of customize it how tight you want it. I do think this would also look really cute with like the jeans I just showed you guys. In terms of the pants, same material, um, a really nice, comfortable fit and feel. Does have the zipper pockets on the side here. You've got one little cute kind of pocket on the bum. So comfortable. I'm glad I got these in a size small because they have a little room in them. I don't like lounge sets that are skin tight. I know some people do, just not my tea. And then also down on the bottom here, it's kind of like a little, you've got the stretch here on the, co the collar. What do you call that? The, the cuff. cuff. The cuff? The cuff. And that's the cuff. But yeah, this is just a super cute set. I feel like, yeah, it's a lounge set, but I could definitely look cute wearing this out for the day if I was like actually going places. So very impressed with the lounge set. Really loved all the pieces actually that I received. So I don't have a discount code or any of those things. I'm just sharing this information so that if you guys do want to shop, it gives you a good idea. So if you have any more questions on those pieces, feel free to drop me a comment below and I'll help you out as best I can. So that's coming up April 3rd, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. So that's 12 p.m. for me, Eastern Standard Time. Just an interesting update for you guys. If you watched last weekend's vlog where I talked about detoxing, I wanted to give you an update. So if you haven't seen that video, go watch that first. Um, but interestingly enough, I've been very broken out this week, which I've had my history with acne, but it's actually been cleared up for months now, like just totally clear skin. This came about this past week. So I'm kind of interested, Jason and I were talking about the fact that it could be like the glutathione or something else helping me detoxify. So I'm not quite sure, but just thought that was interesting. So it makes me wanna stop because I'm breaking out and I'm like, oh, I don't wanna deal with this again. At the same time, if I'm detoxing, it's probably a good thing, right? So I should keep going. But just wanted to mention that to you anytime you guys, you know, go through no, new protocols for your health or your diet, your workouts, there can always be some other bad things that kind of come up. So it's just a matter of like acknowledging it, trying to figure out where it came from. And I'm just gonna push through. It is what it is. It's a beautiful thing that the masks cover it right now for the most part anyways. Well, except for on video, but yeah, that's, that's the only like negative thing I would say that I've noticed so far, but it's only been what, two weeks, Jay? Yeah, about two weeks. It's been about two Not weeks. Very long. So I think I'm gonna try to stick it through for three months because I feel like that's No, there's no try. You're sticking it through for three months. We ain't doing this back and forth. Gosh, if gosh. I am diligent with everything, you can be too. Gosh, gosh, gosh. I'm cushing the cameraman's head. Gosh, gosh, gosh. All right, guys, we are showing you back and biceps today. Um, Jason and I have been training on the weekends together at the gym. Finally. He trains me, I should say. <laughs> he always puts me through a good workout, which I quite like because... I love this machine, by the way. This machine's really nice. It feels really good. I like it better on the normal grip. I know you do. We did underhand last weekend, but... Yes. Um, I like working out with Jason because he's really smart about his training and he knows how to, like have a good workout without i feel like i have a tendency to do too much he's alive guys don't worry <laughs> he was so tired oh my goodness um yeah but anyways i like working out with jay for that reason uh so we started out with that machine and then we did the dumbbell lat pullovers i don't know why i couldn't think of that the lat pullovers they don't have a lat pullover machine i wish they did though but the dumbbell gets the job done yes right i wish they had a pullover machine too um, I felt like I could have gotten heavier on these, but at the same time, it's like such a, this movement I feel like you have to be careful with. I'm a bit of a baby, you guys. With your shoulder? With my shoulder. Like, I don't blame you. You should be. I'm, a, I'm actually a baby with your shoulder. But that's what sucks though, is like that injury was so long ago and I feel like I literally still have to, not really baby it, but I have to be smart about it, you guys, because I mean, the longevity of your body, I feel like is everything. It's the, like the longevity of your body to me is, it's so much more important than like pushing through extra reps or, 100%, you know, because going. Because then it just gets you, you get set back. You do, seriously. Like if you get hurt, then it's like, what was that extra push good for? Because now you're weeks behind because you're injured and have to heal. And it's, I feel Look like. Look at it, that form. 
form's not bad, right? This was heavy for me too, you guys. This was not like an easy uh, weight for me at all. But because I am training at home most days of the week, I feel like it could be very easy for me those two days of the week at the gym to go like balls to the wall yeah. overboard. So it's actually, so, yeah, so it's super good you work out with me. It does help. That, I keep like, you in line because I can't handle like destroying myself. That workout outfit looks really cute though, actually. It looks really good. I got to the point in the workout where I was just too hot with that little jacket on. But um, anyways, yeah, I feel like working out with you, we did what? Overall with this workout, we did like four to five back we, movements. Yeah, we did three sets of everything. Sometimes we do four. Today yeah. we only did three. That's kind of how we keep it simple, you guys. If you're not really sure what to do, like honestly pick three to five movements. Focus on good quality reps, feeling that muscle connection. Get your major lifts out of the way first. Yeah, you don't have to be in the gym for two hours a day. I feel like, you know, I've pretty much been in a pretty good maintenance mode for the past year doing this. He's so good at the gym with us. Even when he licks his wings. Lick that. Lick that tip. Lick that tip. <laughs> Lick the tip. Oh, man. And then we had some biceps um, as well. We did a couple bicep movements here. and We, we just did the superset. We did the superset, yeah. So, which yeah. is like six sets, basically. I did hammer curl on the incline. And then, um, yeah, just straight, the bar, straight bar. And like you said, today, too, I was really... Your biceps, you guys, you really have to, like, mind-muscle connection that. Yeah, I suck with that. Because I'm if not, not like... You're not actually working your biceps. You're just throwing the weight up. So anyways, this was a great workout. My lats were nice and jiggly after we were done. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed. Always giving yeah, me a hard time, yeah, that yeah, camera She man. acts like she's never done this before. She's, oh. over, she's over there in the shadows. I'm a noob every time we do this. I know. I'm like, come on, you noob. <laughs> we film on the weekend. So it's like by the time next weekend rolls around, I've forgotten everything we've done the past 10 plus years on this channel. But hey, if you guys enjoyed couples commentary on the workout footage, then let us know down below. Actually, go ahead and smash the like button. Make sure you guys are subscribed and hit ring my dingaling. Don't ring my man's dingaling. I mean, you can ring his too, but ring my dingaling. That way you guys are notified each and every time I upload. I'm actually gonna end the video here because it's the evening. And the Corys are gonna wind it on down, aren't we? Yeah, and you still get your lounge set on. Wait, You're lounging. I, I could not take it off. It was too comfortable. I'd like to share with the people, what's our favorite Netflix show that we're watching right now? Not Netflix, it's Disney. Disney Plus. What is it? The Secrets of Sp Salt Springs? Hold this, hold them. Yes. Salt is Springs? that right? Hold this, I'll double check. Double check. Secrets of Sulphur Springs. Sulphur Springs. It's really good. It's got the little girl in it from Dr. Sleep. She was a really good actress too, but it's just like a really fun show. So just want to throw that out there as a recommendation. It's got like a Goosebumps slash yeah. Goosebumps slash Lock and Key vibe. Lock and Key vibe, It has yeah. like the Goosebumps like not the best acting and not the best special effects, but it has like the kind of same vibe, the story of like the mystery and, and yeah. It's, it's fun. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's like, fun. It's a lot of fun. It is fun. So I like that a lot. So just thought I'd share because I don't know how we found that on Disney, but um, the cameraman, of course. But let us know in the comments as well if you like what you're binge watching right now on TV, Netflix, Prime, Disney, whatever. Let us know down in the comments. I'm going to close this video out here, you guys. I may do a live this week on the YouTube, so I'll keep you posted on that. Make sure you're following me over on Kara Corey Fit Life on Instagram because that's where I usually kind of uh, keep you posted when I'm going to go live here on YouTube as well. So hope you are all doing lovely, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.